Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check new limited edition kit from Edward. Uh, this model is modded in 148 scale and kit is named as a Legia. It's uh, spot 13 which is uh, featuring markings for Czechoslovakian pilot as you can see written here so it's Czechoslovak pilots and once again it's a limited edition kit which is already available for purchase. Uh, we have this uh, commercial sample for the review as you can see box art is quite nice but first let me remind you that we are gathering money for the new camera and you can help us too just press the donate button on our website and choose the amount you would like to help us with. Be sure all this money will be used for the new photo and video equipment which will uh, noticeably improve our quality uh, of those review articles and review videos. As for the kit, as you can see here, we have this uh, quite nice box. Here you can see comparison with my hand. It's a typical size for World War I aircraft kits from Edward. Um, then on the side we have four marking options as shown um, in side view. Just give me a second to focus on them. So here you can see them. Uh, we'll see them further in the video review in assembly manual. Then here we have some information about manufacturer. And here we have also some information about the kit that is written here that inside we will find marking options for Czechoslovak pilots. Also P parts and masks are included for marking options and that's pretty much all. That's a classic top opening box. So just give me a second to open it and here is what we have inside. So as you can see all frames are packed into the plastic bag, only one. Then we have assembly manual, decals and other bonuses on the bottom. We will check them later. Now I would like to start with plastic frames. So just give me a second to open all this stuff. This kit might be familiar for some of you, especially for World War One airplane because this plastic was available separately but now we have special edition which is different with its marking options. So here you can see clear parts, um, it's quite small I would say frame. Let's zoom in and then we'll focus the camera on those parts. So here you can see them closer, molding quality looks quite nice and I think um, the fact that masks are included into this kit will make it easier to get you a nice model as a result. Next we have first gray plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to various minor elements. I'll zoom out camera and then we do refocusing on this nice frame. So here you can see it, various minor components for external and internal detailing. Um, this is a standard spot 13 plastic I would say, molding quality looks quite fine but be careful with parts like this because they are quite thin and they will be easy to break and then you will have to fix it somehow. Next we have another plastic frame, this one is dedicated to wing parts and also fuselage halves, here you can see them too. Note that both are molded without this front cooling section, also we have here landing gear wheels and also tail area is also molded separately. Why? Because it comes with a separate piece top section which will cover these two fuselage halves. Nevertheless it's worth zooming in and of course focusing even more on those parts so that you can see them in all their beauty. Again, molding quality is on the same level as what we saw in the previous uh, frame, on the previous frame. And the inside, as you can see, there is some modest detailing, but no worries, it will be improved with separately molded plastic parts, as well as some PE parts which come in this kit out of the box, so you won't have to buy anything separately. Let's move on. We have this third and the last plastic sprue and as I said before here we have this top section which is molded together with tail wing as you can see. Here we have also a rudder molded together with tail section. Here are elevators, here is the cockpit floor, here we have the bottom section of the cooling, two types of the propellers, this venting gear legs, pilot seat and now we are ready to zoom in and see them closer once again. So here you can see the first 
and the biggest part on this frame I'll try to focus even more so here you can see that it's molded without this machine gun um, parts without machine gun barrels they will have to be inserted separately then here we have these two types of propellers also bottom section of the fuselage then here we have cockpit 4 and this one is a tail section which is molded separately as well Next we have separate plastic bags with decals and also PE parts and masks. Masks are quite typical here, you can see them. These are pre-cut stickers which will be applied on transparent elements as well as some other parts of this airplane. PE thread was made in 2008, 10 years ago, I mean that shows let's say age of this kit. Nevertheless, as you can see, quality of those PE parts is on the same level as what we see in modern Edward kits. And I can say that it will be quite nice to have these parts on your 148 scale spot. Next, we have separately packed decals sheet. Just give me a second to open it. There is only one decal sheet, even though this is a 148 scale, but let's not forget that this is a World War I airplane, so symbols are not that big and finished model won't be big either. Um, those decals are printed in Edward and I'll zoom out a bit so that you can see them all. Um, as you can see, printing quality looks quite impressive. We don't have any decals for the cockpit, maybe only those dials. So you will have to paint any other elements which you would like to see inside. Nevertheless, we have all main symbols for four marking options which are included here. So no worries, they will be easy to apply and they will look good on your airplane. And then last but not the least is this assembly manual. I will zoom out so that you can see it in full picture, let's say. So as you can see, we have short history note on the first page. Then we have parts map and note that almost all parts will be used. So be sure not to lose any of those. Assembly process starts with cockpit, of course. We continue with cockpit four. We join fuselage halves together, install this top section. Then we continue with front cooling area, install wings. And then of course you will have to do rigging and note that there are two different uh, propeller types which correspond with different marking options so be careful to choose the right one for your build then here we have by the way note that masks are used for landing gear wheels as well as for clear parts as far as I can guess I mean they should be used for clear parts anyway here we have also marking guide that's the first marking option which copies uh, aircraft flown by Augustine Carvat uh, in France, September 1918. Then here we have two more. This one comes from France, fall 1918. It was flown by Václav Pilat. This one comes from Nemetsky Broad, Czechoslovakia, September 1st, 1924. It was uh, flown by Bohumil uh, Siegel. And then here we have fourth and the last one. Uh, this aircraft was flown by František Lechki. As you can see, it was based in Biljevedli Airfield, Czechoslovakia, August 28, 1924. So four marking options in total. And once again, I will remind you that this is a limited edition kit. So there will be only a few available. And when it will be sold out, it will be sold out. So you won't be able to get it anymore. So if you would like to copy quite unusual markings of Czechoslovak pilots, it is the right choice to pick. And now is the time because, as I said before, Eduard won't be reissuing this particular version of the kit. Of course, plastic is not that new, but I mean, it still survives the test of the time. And I think with appropriate skills, you will be able to get a really nice biplane in 148 scale. As I said before, it's already available on official Edward website. You can get it directly there. 
and you can also order some other kits as well so it will be a nice excuse and of course I will be happy to discuss this model with you write it here in the comment section below um, if you like this video and you would like to support us and you don't like to miss any new video reviews press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual bye